hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys what the next best mod is for your golf GTE or any golf for that matter but before we get into that I got something to show you guys I got new wheels Okay, so I hope you like my new wheels. I really wanted something different for this car because uh, I was getting pretty tired of the 17 inches and I really love the Pretoria wheels that are on the Golf R, they're 19 inch, so they're quite big. These wheels also have better tires than the ones I used to have. So these tires have more grip which is better, especially if you want to do some sporty driving. These wheels with these tires, they do consume a bit more electricity, but since uh, I work so close to home, that doesn't really matter to me. If you are living further from your home, then maybe you want to consider something else before swapping to 19 inch wheels. But yeah, I really like to hear what you think about them, if you like them. So, on to today's topic which is the the second best mod you can do to your golf gt and the first best mod being the remap obviously because the remap is so nice for this car but that's not the topic of today so uh, the second best mod and i never thought this would be such a great mod but i've read good things about this which is the dog bone insert for your uh, for your um, dog bone bushing this bushing is underneath the car it pretty much connects your gearbox to the subframe or to the chassis and um, what this does is it just addresses the free play that is in the bushing now this bushing is very soft and there really are some annoying things that this car has with the stock bushing one of them is harsh shifting when the car is cold this problem it has two sides the first of them is that the car is cold obviously the oil in the gearbox is cold so you might think like okay if the oil gets warm it gets a bit better though but um, the real culprit of this is the dog bone bushing why because the bushing is so soft and every time the car shifts especially when cold the, the whole bushing pretty much shakes. I will put in a video right now what this actually looks like and then you can imagine what effect it's gonna have on the drive. Something else is um, more important for a performance point of view, which is wheel hop. Now, my car had real intense wheel hop as some viewers have noticed from my previous videos. And I can tell you that this bushing, I would pretty much say there's a reduction of at least 75% of wheel hop. Now I'm gonna put this car right now into GTE because I'm gonna let it warm up so that you can sort of get a feel of, of what it's like to drive right now. Okay, the car is pretty warm right now. Second gear, low speed. Traction control is going to kick in, but really notice the lack of wheel hop here. 30 kilometers an hour, floor it. It's just so much better. So much better than stock. I remember when the car did not have this bushing, it was, it really, the traction control would really fight the car's torque and you would really feel it pretty much everywhere the wheel hop was insane 
and now it's just gone yeah obviously you can feel the tires breaking loose but it's not the annoying wheel hop anymore so much better this is really such a good supporting mod especially really complementing the remap of this car gonna do it again second gear I'm not gonna go too fast because there are cars but second gear oh that's like pure wheel spin <laughs> but no wheel hop there you go okay not going too fast but no wheel hop you can really feel no knocking at all it's just so much better okay I'm gonna stop there <laughs> that was full throttle and first gear was spinning a lot second gear was spinning a lot but again no hopping okay so another thing what this bushing addresses which is very nice is that the shifts of the car feel a lot crisper the downshifts are so much better if you shift down to third to second it's very crisp it's very tight previously when you downshifted you can feel there's a certain amount of slop in the drivetrain um, some people say that a DSG tune fixes this but this is a far cheaper alternative if this is your only problem the downshifts are so good very crisp the upshifts are feel very firm but not uncomfortably firm there are um, some things that the GTI guys uh, run into and that is NVH NVH this means noise vibration harshness does this bushing induce any NVH to the cabin or to the whole driving experience I have not found any NVH at all um, the only sort of hum what you hear is when I put the car in reverse and you tend to go into a parking lot for example and you reverse back into a parking spot that is a really it's a slight hum but it's not it's it's not annoying if really if i did not know this bushing was on the car i would not notice it at all so guys i hope you like this video and if you really want a good mod for your car buy this dog bone bushing mine is from powerflex and really i'm gonna put the part numbers in the video and I'm gonna put them in the description because there are two versions. But if you wanna install this, you uh, have to have uh, jack stands or anything to put the car off. You can do this and it, it's just, it's three to five minutes of work, really. And what I can advise you is uh, put the bushing in first if you're under the car and after putting it in, then unloose uh, the bolt. Because if you, I've seen people do it the other way around, unloosen the bolt put the bushing in and then they couldn't get the bolt back in so what I did put the bushing in then when it's completely in place unloosen the bolt put the spacer and the washer uh, in that comes with the kit then put the bolt back in and you have to then torque the bolt to spec which is 100 Newton meters plus another 90 degree angle but I found that if you will torque it to 130 Newton meters that is approximately the same I've torqued mine to 130 Newton meters and that was good to go so I hope you like this if you want another mod done for your car just do this one it makes the car feel so much better so much tighter and it's not expensive this bushing for me was 45 euros that was including shipping and install was really including putting the car up and down 10 minutes maybe 50 minutes but the install itself it's I would say uh, five minutes watch out for my next video